I have a, I have a really serious question because the only problem is, right, she told me that I was mixed. You told me that, right? No, I said you were other. Okay, what's and other? And you are other. What's other? The Explain to the public of, because my my fans are really upset. They think that when I repeated that that I'm saying that I'm not black, which is not the truth. Black is a color, first of all, so don't listen to that. Okay, but can you explain so they can get off the back about it? <laughs> that your mother is one color and your daddy. Okay, mm -hmm. you told me I was mixed with what? So let me. I want to let's let's just clear some things up for your fans and everybody. Okay. Today, December 11th, you are saying on record that Keisha's father is an Italian Caucasian who has passed away, and Keisha has never seen a picture of him. She's never seen he, but we can get a picture. He had his own bar and grill. It's called Pal Joey's. Really? It was at East Street Lawn Center. Guys, as a young girl, I looked up Pal Joey's. I called 411. Y'all remember that? It's in I called San Jose. A it's bunch in of San times. Jose. I'm never... not going to wait. It's Does he have family? First she told me it was in Los Angeles, guys. The guy called Los Angeles, and research. it was not one there. I don't know anybody. So, I don't know anybody because you want me to be honest? Yes, please. Nah, I'm kidding. Oh, you. come on. Like, this is just not cool. He was a guy that I used to date. Okay. We, we figured. I, I know that part. When I was a. Okay. Lady of Leisure. Okay. Did you And care? I became attached. Okay. Because he tried, went to his grave trying to get me to stop doing prostitution. <laughs> Okay. Sure. And how did you meet him? Well, it speaks for itself. Okay. The prostitute. Did you not? No, I never told her that. Oh boy. Now that you asked me that, he picked me up and he told me you're too pretty to be on the street, and he took me to his bar and I was drunk and drunk and we talked. We didn't do anything, and he said. You don't need to be out here. What are you doing? What are you doing? And then he used to come and get me. He said, how much your, your pimp want? And he would give me the money to take to him. And he would keep me all night and talk to me. He cared. He really did. You're hearing this for the, yeah. some of this for the first time, I'm assuming. He was a wonderful guy. <laughs> he wasn't my type. Well, but see, the problem with that is that I had there's to. someone else that's saying that's not that you. he's your father he's yes. not so your father. I okay I just want we the general it? public of the people of that has been my fans over the years to understand <laughs> okay. that this is not something that I got from myself in my own mind right <laughs> this is something that was told to me and I wanted to express that. It's a lie. That. It's not the truth. And we can. I we just have to, to put closure on it. To my fans, because I love I think my it's fans important. Really. First of all, I think your daughter deserves to have closure. closure, and just to know part of the other half of who she is. If there's other family out there, <laughs> if, if there, if, if, if you're, if, <laughs> if this man had um, <laughs> sisters, uh, maybe there can are you ask siblings. Somebody, we we can find them because they have a way to find it. But when did you last have contact with him? Right yeah. after she was born. Then how do you know he's dead? Mm. Because it was told to me by some prostitutes when I went back, and she's dead, one of the ones he did date. Well, okay. She said, well, he died um, of alcoholism. He did. He had some of the liver. He just didn't want to give you no more money. No, nah, that's just joking. Okay, that was I can't get her right. Okay. Somebody, somebody, <laughs> somebody give her a standing ovation. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's passed. And wow, okay, this he's is a lot. Not, yeah, we need three just, hours. Uh, and then he was much older than me. If he was alive today, he would be in his hundreds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man down. <laughs> Okay. Um, Shut up. No, I'm. I'm in. Like, all right, all right. But we have all right, to close here. this up. Uh, it, it, so, give so. your closing thoughts because I can't. 
This no, is not. Would, this is not gonna work. Anymore. He would be in his hundreds. I'm going on sixty. Okay. And he was. We got it. We we got. Yeah. We, we, we got wanna, sixty uh, plus uh, forty, and that's a hundred. Okay, I want to. Uh, I want to continue talking with you, but let let me just say this for the general. I just wanted to let everybody know out there in TV land. How, but how do you feel? That all the, this is uh, you hearing some things <laughs> for the first better. time. Some things. You have conflicting ideas because I, I get the feeling that you don't necessarily agree or believe everything that your mom is saying. I mean, I don't know. What, I don't know. What Can you have the... Is it, so you, we're going to walk away from here and you, you two are going to go do what's necessary for the DNA test. And I would encourage anybody out there in your studio audience, not just the studio audience, but the people out there in the world, if we're talking about bringing families together, uh, let's build on a solid foundation, the truth. Mm -hmm. Nothing is going to work without the truth. It is all lies and it's built on sand and it won't work. It will lead you to alcoholism, it'll lead you to drugs, it'll lead you to lies after lies, personality disorders, all sorts of disorders and it doesn't work. And nobody deserves that. Children don't deserve the hurt. Parents don't deserve the guilt they feel from the hurt that sometimes they had difficulty causing. And okay. Excuse me. That's the appropriate way to do it. Um, but we uh, might need to come back next week. Special <laughs> thanks to like Pete so Cole because he discuss. has been filled in as mm -hmm. her daddy, and I'm sure her what adopted father. Yeah. Yeah. Pete Cole. Okay. He is the bomb. Everybody, shout out to Pete Cole. Yeah, for sure. My dad. And Yvonne Cole. My dad worked. I never. Yeah. Thank God. Yes. And I and I I always say this, you know, my dad worked and I I never was abused. I never I never was touched by, you know, my family. So I mean that's a blessing, you know, and that yeah. and I just I just walk away with my blessings and count them, you know what I mean? Because a lot of things happen to children out there that are in foster care, right. that are adopted, that are in group homes. Or that are in a home with a mom and dad intact. Well you don't have to worry about that because it didn't happen with me. It didn't? The mom and dad? It didn't happen yeah. to you, but it happened to my, you. My dad was in and out. Yeah, but then what you saw the, what I'm saying is, is you saw the abuse. It was an intact. Well, I'm just trying to figure out this trauma because I don't understand. I'm traumatized. Where it's coming from. That, that is from really what I wanted to get to the bottom line of today. From the but abuse I, of her family. But, okay. You, 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 you can't see how children watching abuse happen, physical and sexual abuse, and knowing that it's happening when they're children, you can't see how they could carry that and then develop some sort of... I just only, the reason why I'm saying what I'm saying, right, is because me and my cousin was talking about this the other day. Okay. And when we were coming up, especially my adopted cousin, right, we were talking about how your parents used to say, get your ass in the room and mind your business, stay out of grown folk business. I don't know, my, I can't, I've never had this discussion with my mother about did, did she was she not told to go mind her business or was she sitting there watching all of this sitting kind of stuff watching. and I didn't I don't we've never she's never discussed this with me every time I want to talk about it it's like you know she doesn't want to talk about it so that's my thing I don't know where this trauma came from so I don't the home I, well I'll tell you something and I, be, I believe this that moment that we had when you first came out and I said what did that trauma do to you you all saw it and you heard it and she said I, str I hurt me. Mm -hmm. I abused me. I did. That, that was, I can feel that. And that's the truth. And that's where you start to build your life. And that's where you start to build the bridge mm -hmm. to your children. Mm -hmm. Okay, before we, before we get out of here, I want to ask one more question, right? Is it possible for her to get herself together, right? Figure out what's going on with her internally and try to, not to say like fix what has happened with her other children, but kind of like um, reason with them and their anger and deal with that. Because I feel like a lot of times what happens is when my sisters and brothers get angry about what they've experienced, mm -hmm. she say, y'all trying to blame me for this and this is something that I can't, I didn't, you know, and, that, and, and to me, I want my mother to get strong enough, right? To where she can deal with that because it's a lot of angry children that she had you know, that are dealing with things, and I can't be what she can be to them. And clearly we found that out, you know, the hard way. So my thing is, is, you know, before, like you said, before me and my sisters and brothers can get back cool right. again and build that relationship, 
They have to respect their mother. Okay. Um, bottom line. Okay. This is, uh, wow. Gotcha. Okay. This, um, baby. <laughs> uh, baby? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once they are grown and everything has been unresolved, you no longer get to demand that kind of respect. It really is earned. And it might not seem fair. It's fair. Right? No, it's not. I, I lie. I know, because that's how you feel, and I respect that too. When that happens, grown people, unlike children, say, you know what, I need a minute, I need a break. And we come back another day. This is why it is important that you must do the intrapsychic, the internal work where you are abusing yourself. You now must learn to do the work to forgive bring yourself, myself. Forgive yourself all of that and bring yourself whole. It is a process. Now, the fans, it's not going to be what it could have been because that time has come and gone. So, Keisha, none of us get to choose, well, this is how we want it to be. We have to accept what is. But that doesn't mean that you don't stop doing the work because you need to do that for you, right? Getting yourself to that place is for you. She gets, a, she gets to accept, she gets to be a part of the reward in your other six children, but it's about you. I don't believe I'm gonna say this, God wants you to be whole. Okay, but watch this. I want me and my family to be whole as a family. Okay, that's true, but we gotta get you there first. Well, how long do you think that's gonna take? I just started right here now. Okay. Well then. Thanks to you. There we go. Okay. All right. A big thanks to my wonderful guest, Dr. Dave Crenshaw, and my mother, Frankie, of course.